It's a released search warrant request made back in 2017 now highlights a possible suspect who the FBI thought could be responsible for the deaths of both Abby William and Libby German over five years ago. We're checking in now with our sister station in Indianapolis on the new revelation. Well, this is the home and property that is mentioned in this latest leaked document. It was home to Ronald Logan before he passed away in 2020, and it's also where police found the bodies of Abby and Libby more than five years ago. And even though this document is from 2017, it's giving you details that were never released before. Back in March 2017, 13 News was there when FBI searched Logan's property. We also spoke with him multiple times, and he even walked us back to the crime scene. I can't really wrap my emotions around it. It's just so mind-boggling. I haven't really caught up. It hasn't caught up with me yet. But recently, the podcast Murder Sheet obtained the sealed warrant. In the request, the FBI agent wrote, I believe there is probable cause to believe that Ronald Logan has committed the crime of murder, and the evidence of that could be found on Ronald Logan's property. The agent then went on to detail why, saying Logan asked a relative to create a fake alibi for him for the afternoon that the girls were reported missing. There was also cell tower data that tracked his phone to the crime scene. Plus, investigators interviewed two women who had been in a relationship with Logan, and both reported that he was physically abusive. While investigators continue to track down leads, the community hasn't given up hope. Posters remain in many downtown windows, a constant reminder of this unsolved case. It just feels like yesterday, to be honest with you. I mean, five years is not a long time at all. You know, and it's in our faces every single day. We see the same people we, we associate with, you know, people that are close to them. And like so many in Delphi, Omar Ruiz has learned not to jump to conclusions when new details are released. You know, I can't make speculations and I can't say he did or he didn't. You know, it's one of those things that, once again, we're a community. You know, we try to stick together as much as possible. The leaked document also gave new information about the crime scene, saying one of the victims was missing an article of clothing. There were no visible signs of a struggle or fight. Investigators also recovered fibers and unidentified hairs, and it also appeared the girls' bodies were moved and staged. No matter how much time passes, the community isn't giving up, knowing someone knows something. It's going to be solved. You know what I mean? It's going to be solved. And to be clear, police have not charged Logan with this crime or named him as a suspect in this case.